and videos are getting so good that we see videos like these on our timeline. But no one is telling us exactly how they're creating these videos and what tools they're using. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to create these hyper realistic AI videos only using two tools. Now, I have been obsessed with this one model's video quality, I must say, only to find out that she's using the secret method to trick everyone into believing that she's AI and it's not what you expected at all. So by the end of this video, you're going to be able to create these hyper realistic videos and I am going to be showing you the method that she's using to trick everyone into believing that she's real. Okay, so let's get started. The first step is to create an image. Now, at this point, you should already have your AI model, which I've shown you in the previous video how to create. Now, I am going to take this model and put her into the scene and background, right? You can find any image that you like on Pinterest or on Instagram, download it, and then just basically just replicate that image, right? So I'm going to download this image. So after we have downloaded this image, we are going to replicate this whole thing by putting her in here and then adding this prompt. I am going to be leaving access to the prompt so you guys can have access to how to replicate images. I am just going to find my AI model once she wants to be found. Okay, done. While that is loading, I am going to change this aspect ratio to 2160 and 3840, right? This is still going to be in that iPhone aspect ratio, but it's only going to be, but it's going to be in 4K, right? So I'm going to click generate and boom this is exactly what the image looks like but i do not like her hands being like this obviously it's replicating the pose i don't like her hands being here and i don't like this lady in the background if you know anything about creating videos if there's a lot of things in the background a lot of moving parts in the background the video starts to look it starts to bomb out right? It focuses on the model itself, but not on the background, right? So I'm going to edit this prompt and say, remove the lady in the background, have our arms loose. And oh, I basically spelled that as lose, <laughs> lose, loose, loose, relaxed and smiling, and then body facing the camera, right? So I'm going to click generate and boom, this is exactly what the image is going to look like right? Now we're going to post-production, right? So for post-production, we are going to enhance them. You're basically going to take that image which you generated and then just go to the upscaler and then you're going to add that image in here and then click on generate. Now for the purpose of this video, I have already gone ahead and generated that image and it looks exactly like this. Nice, crisp and clean. Now we're going to download this image and then turn it into a video. Now we're going to create the video, which you see in here, right? Now the text can be there. It's not going to replicate the text, right? I'll share the prompt with you guys. This, which we have created, she's gonna be creating all of these movements. Now you may be wondering, why not just use fun control? Because it is for poses. I have tested both and I'm telling you, Wanimate is much better. Go to Wanimate and then we are going to add this image here and the video for the purpose of the video i have already gone ahead and uploaded the video right but now i'm going to upload the prompt okay so i am going to input this prompt now i don't reiterate what she's going to be doing in the prompt i basically just say make it natural make the movements natural right natural pacing realistic walking rhythm shot in real life on a handheld camera, recorded with a smartphone, 30 frames per second. I basically am just telling Wanamate, make this girl move naturally, right? And keep the iPhone 17 HDR effect. I just like to use that. I don't know if it's a gimmick. Ultra high definition and then crisp 4K finish, right? Now, it's important that you do not say replace because if you click on replace, it's basically going to take this video keep the same setting in the background and put our model in it however i do not want that i want to keep the same background that she's in and just animate the movements that she's doing right so click on animate 
right? And then now we are going to run this. So this is exactly what the video looks like. Now that we have seen the video, I want to talk to you guys about something very important, which is post-production. Now we're at the point where we can decide, do we make this video better or not? Now, this is the extra step which a lot of people make, which is how they create those hyper-realistic videos. Because a lot of you will just create that video raw and then just post it on social media. And then you have googly eyes and three fingers and all those things, right? Professional teams, what they do is they'll have post-production. Not only will they upscale the image, but they'll also upscale the video. Now we are at this point, right? This is the difference between amateur and professional. However, if you're like me and you're sitting there deciding, okay, Famka, well, why don't I just create the raw, non-upscaled image, create the video, and then just upscale the video and then save credits, right? That makes sense. Instead of just upscaling the image and the video. If you're like me and you've had that question, I've tested both and I'm going to show you the difference and then you can decide. Now, this is a video which I have created from a non-upscaled image and I'm going to play the video and, and before I even mention anything, remember what I said about that lady, removing that lady in the background. This lady is basically just existing in time, not doing anything, freezing in the background, which is why I ended up just removing her from the background. Now this is the video roll, which you can then upscale, right? But the eyes just never came out well, right? And then this is the image that was upscaled and we created a video. Now the difference between the two is this one looks a lot more tan and a lot more glossy and a bit sharper, right? This one looks a lot more amateurish, but it doesn't look as sharp, right? Like you can see, what do you call those bones? Collarbones and all those things, right? Okay, great. Now, now that we've covered upscaling an image and how that affects the video doesn't really make a difference. I want to show you guys. So what about video upscaling? Is video upscaling worth it? Well, you be the judge of that. This is no upscaler and upscaled video. This was upscaled using Enhancer AI. The details are a lot sharper. This one looks a bit more amateur, which I really, really like because if you're posting this, it looks too crisp as well. But also remember, if you're posting on social media, it does, you know, denigrate or reduce the quality of it. So upscaling for me is worth it. You can decide that, right? Now, I want to show you guys a different upscale, which I have ran in the background while creating this video. And you guys can tell me what the difference is between the two. So this video, I have come to Topaz, I mean, Astra, which is basically a affordable version of Topaz Labs. Topaz Labs is a video upscaler, but it's quite expensive. However, Astra is the cheaper cousin. Same company, umbrella company, just a cheaper version of that. Now, they do have a seven day free trial. And while I was recording this video, I wanted to see the difference between the two, which I am going to show you guys. This is the video that Astra created. So I want to show you guys the difference. This is not using Astra. Now we're going to zoom in. Look at her eyes. Now let's look at Astra's eyes. What do you guys think? It made a difference, but the eyes are still the eyes could do with a bit of work, right? Now let's look at non-upscaled video. Upscaled with enhanced. What do you guys think? You be the judge of it. Now, I want to show you guys a different method to create these videos. Now, these this method is particularly useful if you want to create videos like this where she changes outfits. Now, to replicate this with Wanamate is going to be very, very difficult, right? So I want to show you guys this method. And this is the one that I've been using before Wanamate, right? So I basically want this lady, I mean, my AI model to be doing what this lady is doing, her actions. Now, the thing with this method is you need to look at the actions one by one and then combine all those videos. And I'm going to explain what I mean, because if you prompt this all that she is doing in one video, the video is going to bomb out. 
Trust me, I have tested this, right? So what you're going to be doing is, you see that first frame points, she points at that little thing, this invisible elusive thing. You're going to prompt that first and then you're going to change her outfit and then prompt the next one, which she, you know, points at at work and then chooses a work outfit, right? And then combine those two. Now, I want to show you the prompt that I used, which is to create these, right? So she is basically doing what this lady is doing. Now, this is the prompt that I've used. She has one hand on her hip and uses the other hand to point upwards with her index finger and she places both hands and sways naturally, right? Now, this is what she's doing. And obviously you can, once you're going to edit, you're going to add the text there, right? Now, I want to show you the difference between C dance and Wanimate or WAN 2.5 image to video. This was created with WAN 2.5 image to video. And this is C-Dance. C-Dance, her eyes look a little dead towards the end, but you can always edit that out. Remember guys, these guys edit everything out. They'll create a bunch of videos and edit it out anyway. So you can do that too. And you can upscale the videos as well. But I want to show you the unit economics. This method is great if you have different shots in one video which Wanamate cannot replicate, right? But for me, I prefer C-Dance because it looks a lot more, just towards the end, she kills it for me, but I prefer C-Dance because, unfortunately, I'm not able to zoom in, but she looks a lot better with C-Dance. Now, if you're gonna use just one shot of her dancing, then use Wanamate, right? It's easier and it's cheaper because it's just a dollar and 20. And one shots for these, you're gonna, do so many prompts and prompt into infinity but for different shots use WAN 2.5 image to video and C dance right this is the 1080p so this is the different method that you guys can use which I wanted to share with you guys if you have different shots like this lady has right now I want to show you guys what I found out about this model which is I don't think a lot of people know right a lot of people will look at these girls and what many of them are actually doing is this one is an amateur job but basically what they're doing is using real girls they're using real girls and just face swapping this is an amateur job but this lady i'm gonna show you guys gracie this is her now how i know this is because an insider told me and also i'm gonna show you now this is gracie before the really good face swap, right? I don't know if you guys even recognize her because she looks so different. <laughs> and it looks like the other model is still a little behind. But if you guys are seeing these models, which just look so realistic and you are prompting into infinity and wondering what you're doing, because I used to be so obsessed with this model, only to find out that they're actually using real girls. As in a girl will take the whole content, but they'll do a face swap. So this is Gracie. And you can Google her to see, as you can see, Gracie Higgins, right? This is her. And you'll Google her and you'll see that it is actually a real model that they're using and just doing face swaps. And now this is the quality of her video. So if you're at a point where you actually want to just, if you're a female and do this, you can actually just do a face swap, right? And to the men out there that are watching this, <laughs> I don't know, find a female or, you know, just try as best to try and get this quality but if you guys have any suggestions on how else to do it this is exactly how i've been doing it let me know what you guys think and i will see you in the next video